of tunes too, just kind of experimenting with uh, some different sounds, you know, integrating, you know, some stuff that you would deem as traditional, you know, metal. Like we recently did a remake of Stargazer, or Rainbow's Stargazer. Nice. And uh, I was gonna make the 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 Dio comment or the Rainbow comment based on uh, some of the uh, people that you have uh, assembled so far. So that stands yeah. out to me. <laughs> yeah. Well, you should check that out. We have a video of that we just put out a couple weeks ago. Um, but he's so good, and you'll hear in that you'll hear him play, and uh, boy, he's just brilliant. I just love this guy, and he's a hardest working. Man, hard worker. Well, I'll tell you what. Um, why don't we go ahead and play that now? I haven't heard it yet. Biv hasn't heard it yet. The audience hasn't heard it yet. Let's go ahead and check that out right now. Let's check out Stargazer. Oh, fantastic. Age of Liberty Stargazer. Let's do it. High noon, heart so my soul for water. Nine years with a break in my back. There's no sun. In the shadow of a wizard See how we guys Play slider than air Oh, I see his face Where is your stood? Is it far? Is it far? Is it far?
All right, so that was Stargazer from Age of Liberty. Uh, of course, we are joined by Darren Crisp of Sun Crown and Age of Liberty. I can't wait to hear more of the stuff that they have going on. I'm really excited to hear uh, more from them. But, uh, Darren, you had kind of mentioned before when you're kind of collaborating as a band, all the projects you're working on, working with people all over the world. And this is a, a topic that's mentioned often on According to Metal. Uh, and a lot of musicians hear the same sentiment about just how tough it is right now um, that when it comes to music, I almost I almost compare a lot of metal musicians to teachers here in America because teachers don't make anything, but they do it because they love what they do. And right. sadly, I notice a lot of metal musicians are in the same exact boat. Uh, you touch a little bit on that and just kind of your thoughts on the on the whether it's just music industry or especially metal as a whole, kind of your thoughts on it. Well, I think it's just the music industry as a whole, uh, be it metal, be it any of it, it's just a dogfight, you know, and you just got to work your tail off every, you know, as an example, just uh, before yesterday, I had the fortune of somebody having recommended me to this uh, notable blues artist uh who um uh, is recording an album you know and he had this guy and said man i need a singer sing on this and uh and he said man i think i know just a guy and he, he was thinking of me you know anyway sent me a cd with these tunes and it's this you know kind of you know, rock and blue stuff that's, that's, you know, kind of like Badlands or something. I don't okay. know if you're familiar oh, cool. with Badlands. I mean, but this guy is scorching. This guy is freaking phenomenal. And I heard it and I'm like, holy crap, this is great. <clears throat> and, uh, 
But anyway, so I got it that night at about seven o'clock, not last night, but the night before, literally went in the first thing the next morning and threw down three samples on three of the cuts. I mean, lyrics and everything. Um, and had them back to him by nine thirty yesterday morning. Oh, wow. And, and, but that's, that's only because, well, of course the music was cool and, and it was inspiring, but at the same time, you know, man, we all gotta, we gotta move on this stuff to survive and to, you know, always just gotta be pushing, moving forward and hoping to, you know, hoping to please people. <laughs> well, you know, uh, speaking of guest spots, uh, you had mentioned Steph Hahn, who you were working with on Age of Liberty, and then, of course, he has another project that you had mentioned, uh, Hollywood Monsters. Now, from what I understand, you did a guest vocal spot on Solution, yes. which is coming out sometime here real soon. Can you tell us about that? Well, yeah, because I didn't – I didn't. You, you know, you talk about this segment of groups that you need to hear that you don't know. Well, I didn't know about Hollywood Monsters until uh, – stumbling into him as a result of uh with Vinny Apice drumming with him and uh so you know I heard him and I'm like my gosh you know I mean these great groups and musicians they're just everywhere and you don't hear 99 percent of them but anyway I heard Steph I heard Hollywood Monsters and it's like wow that's just great and I think uh I think I might have messaged him as what it was, just, hey, man, I love your stuff. It's great. Uh, and uh, he just asked if I wanted to kind of duet on one of his tracks, and and that's the same thing. Oh, my, you know, because it's such a, it's great to be asked to do something, you know. It feels good that somebody wants you to do something. So, man, I spun that out. I think the same day I was excited. And I don't know if you've heard that song, but it's, it's cool. He just does great stuff. So I, I haven't can't. yet, but I really look forward to it. So, uh, I can't wait until that comes out. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, very good. And that's, he's got an all-star, just a brilliant cast of musicians and stuff, uh, in the Hollywood monster. So should be good. I'd love to ask this question, Darren, to all of our guests who are on the show, um, and especially you know, vocalists, because I always find it just amazing um, to really hear the, the voices that inspire you, the, the, the vocals that uh, uh, you either listen to growing up or what you listen to now and go, man, um, what are some of your uh, uh, the, 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 the vocalists throughout the years or even currently that inspire you to do what you do or what you may uh, pattern maybe yourself after? You know, I love that topic and it's, it's crazy. Well, growing up, I was a huge Zeppelin fan and Beatles fan. Um, but yeah, just crazy about Zeppelin. But you know, nowadays, I I just gravitate, <clears throat> I guess I'm most impressed with people 